So here's my formula for t of x again, and I've done one thing, and that's to simply to write the square root as a fractional exponent. So to find the critical numbers, I'm going to need the derivative of this. Let's work on that. So t prime of x, uh, first of all, the derivative of x over 3 is just 1 third. Uh, I have a 1 half uh, constant multiple here. Now the derivative of this piece um, with the 1 half exponent, I have to do with the chain rule. So I'm going to multiply by, it will be 1 half times uh, the outside function raised to the negative 1 half power, the derivative of the outside with the original inside plugged into it, 40x plus 425. And then I have to uh, take the derivative of the inside and multiply by that, so 2x minus 40. Again, that's a chain rule. Uh, if you're uncomfortable with the chain rule, or if that wasn't totally smooth for you, go back and practice some more chain rule. It just uh, got a woodshed it to get this right. Now, one quick simplification I can see here is I can uh, divide the 1 half into here and end up with x minus 20, uh, just to quickly simplify that back down. And so now I'm ending up with 1 third uh, plus 1 half times x squared minus 40x plus 425 to the negative 1 half times x minus 20. Now let's clean that up in one more step here. And uh, 1 third plus, this is really a fraction because of the exponent here. The numerator is x minus 20. And on the bottom I've got a 2 because of the multiplied 1 half times the square root of, because of the uh, 1 half exponent, x squared minus 40 x plus 425. Right, and that's a, that's a cleaned up version of my derivative. Now what I'm, the reason I'm taking a derivative is because I want critical numbers. Now critical numbers are going to be where uh, the derivative is either zero or undefined. And let's do, we'll deal with the, the uh, situation where the derivative is zero. Now how might I go about solving that? Well I have x minus 20, let me just separate these two fractions here, uh, x minus 20 over the over 2 times radical x squared minus 40x plus 425. And let me just subtract the 1 third over to the other side. So I have negative 1 third. And now I can square both sides. This is going to create a bit of an algebra technical problem here that I'll have to clean up in a moment. But if I square both sides, on the left hand side I get x squared minus 40x plus 400 over, now the reason I'm squaring is to get rid of the square root. I would end up with 4 times x squared minus 40x plus 425, no square roots, equals 1 ninth. So I'm going to change the page here, and we're just going to continue to solve this equation for x if we can. Okay, so here's my here's where I am so far. Uh, let me cross multiply here, and I would get, uh, multiply these two guys together, I would get 9x squared minus uh, 360x plus 3600 equals, and multiplying this direction, I would just have 4, I'd have this whole denominator, let me just go ahead and multiply the 4 through here, 4x squared minus 160x plus 425 times 4 is 1700. Okay, now this is looking like it's shaping up, I've got just basically what amounts to a quadratic here. Let me just get all these terms and shove them over to the left hand side. So I would end up with 5x squared, uh, I'd end up with minus 200x, and then 3600 minus 1700, that's plus 1900. Uh, x equals zero. Okay, now this is looking like I can solve it for x. So I'll, quickly I will divide 5 off from both sides and get x squared minus 40x plus 380 equals zero. And now I can just use the quadratic formula to uh, get this for me. Uh, x equals uh, 40 plus or minus the square root of 40 squared, which is 1600, minus uh, 4 times 1 times 380. 4 times 380 is 1520 and that's all over 2. Now this simplifies to, uh, once you boil the whole thing down, uh, to 40 plus or minus 4 square root of 5 over 2, which uh, simplifies further to 20 plus or minus 2 radical 5. So it appears that we have two critical numbers here, which is a little different than a lot of uh, optimization problems. However, there's a couple of reasons where why we are going to not choose the plus version of this. We're only going to take the minus version of my solution for two reasons. First of all, if you think back to your picture, clearly the turning point that I want to minimize distance is going to be less than 20 miles. So there's no practical sense in going 20 plus a little bit farther from my turning point. And second of all, the 20 plus square root of uh, two, uh, 2 square root of 5, this one, uh, does not actually solve uh, the original t prime equals 0. Okay, t prime of this 
does not actually equal zero. Uh, that was an extraneous solution that we accidentally picked up when we squared both sides of an equation a while ago. So in fact, 20 plus 2 radical 5 is not even a solution to my problem. So 20 minus 2 radical 5 is a bona fide critical number. Okay, that's my one and only real critical number for my time function. So now let's test this critical number. We're not done with the problem yet. I need to test that critical number to make sure an extrema is actually there. So we're now in the final stages of this problem. I have my derivative recopied over here. and We've just found out that the original function for time has a critical number at 20 minus 2 square root of 5. By the way, that is about equal to, since we're interested in actual mileage values, is 15.528 miles. That would be about where the turning point is if this really gives us an absolute extreme value on my t function, which is what I need to test now. Now to test to see whether this critical number yields an extremum, I'm going to create a little number line here and to sort of plot this uh, function, or not function, but this number, 20 minus 2 radical 5, I'm going to choose a point. This is the one and only point where the derivative is 0. I'm going to choose a point to the left of there and test it into t prime to get its sign. And I'm going to choose a point to the right of here and put it into t prime to get its sign. And that will give me some info about what the function is doing. So let's pick a point to the left here. Uh, 15 would not be a bad choice. Uh, or, or 10, a nice round number like 10. So t prime of 10. Uh, I don't really need to know what t prime of 10 is. I just need to know whether it's positive or negative. Now, I can go to a calculator and find out that t prime of 10 is about equal to negative 0 0.114. Okay, so t prime is negative uh, to the left of this critical number. And on this side, if I pick another nice round number like 20, t prime of 20 uh, is actually exactly equal to 1 third in this case. And so positive one third, right? So that means t prime is positive. So what this tells me is that t is increasing, uh, I'm sorry, decreasing up to this critical number, decreasing, and then increasing forever afterwards. That's what the derivative information tells me. So what this tells me is that 20 minus 2 radical 5 is, not, is certainly a local maximum, because that's what the first derivative test, which is what we've just finished doing, uh, it tells us. But also, it's an absolute maximum, too. It's not only local, but it's also an absolute maximum, or will yield an absolute maximum value on my t function, because it's the only critical number, and the function is decreasing at all points up to that critical number and increasing for all points afterwards. So that means that uh, t really hits an absolute, I keep saying maximum, I mean minimum, it actually hits an absolute minimum at this point. So x equals 15.528 miles uh, gives us an absolute minimum value on the time that is traveled. And that's through a lot of calculus. And we can go back and figure out the time that is traveled if we wanted to. But the problem is just asking where should he turn uh, in order to minimize the time. So it's not all the way over to 20. It's not no turning point at all. It's not a nice round number really at all. It's this number. So Enjoy these kinds of problems. Notice they all have the same basic setup. We have to play with the problem first, model the thing we're trying to optimize, and then use calculus to find its absolute extrema. Good luck and have fun.